Come lay down. Settle down. Lay down. Good girl. Hello. Welcome back to Erin Ray ASMR. Um, thought I'd sit down and do a little video. I just got back from my trip to Wyoming to see my family. Well, I've been back for almost a week, not quite a week. Now you better settle down. Don't mess with, with the set. You're being very chaotic. My dog is being a little chaotic this evening. Well, anyway, I just... <laughs> I just got back from my trip to Wyoming. Um, just about a week ago. Like a... Easy. I don't know why she's choosing right now to be so chaotic. Well, anyway. So... I thought that I would just do a quick video um, unpacking my bag. So anyway, I just I just got back from Wyoming and I had a really good trip and I actually shot a video as well on that trip, but I want to spend some more time working on it. Um, I think I need to tweak the audio a little more because I was recording in um, a space with much higher ceilings and like the acoustics were a little different so I need to kind of figure out my um, audio settings on that video but I am really excited about it so as soon as I get around to editing that one I um, will be uh, very excited to put that out. But until then, I thought that I would just do a quick little video. I thought that we could spend some time come here, come here, unpacking my bag together. Apparently Sai is very excited to join us as well. So I've already unpacked my suitcase, but um, this is my like I guess you could say like my personal item um, <laughs> in air airline terms because I don't like to check my luggage so I always fly with a suitcase that's slightly smaller so it's like a carry-on suitcase and then a bag that I put all of my like personal items and toiletries and things like that. So I haven't unpacked this bag yet. I've just been kind of living out of it, um, grabbing things that I need out of it. So it's been about a week since I came home, so I think it's about time that we go ahead and unpack this bag. What do you think, Sai? She's blinking at me. She's getting herself so stressed out for no reason. There's not a whole lot in here that I actually need to survive. So it's been acceptable for me to leave it fully packed up. But I would like to get everything in here put away. So this is what it looks like. Still packed up. And actually seeing it like this is kind of making me miss my family from, from the trip that I was just on. It was really fun and I had a really, really, really nice time. Um, and I wish I could go back already. Alas, these things must always come to an end. So the first thing that is in my bag that needs to be unpacked is my little manta ray, stingray was a gift from Tim when he went traveling to visit his family last year they went to the aquarium 
in the town that we are from. So my parents recently moved from my hometown in California to Wyoming, but Tim's family still lives in California. So they went to the aquarium once, and he got me this little stingray. And I always take a um, comfort item, which is usually a plushie whenever I travel. And so this was the comfort item slash plushie that I chose to take on this particular trip. And he was very comforting indeed, but now he is ready to return home to live with the rest of them. And Albus keeps climbing up there on top of the keyboard and knocking over all of my plushies. So it's been hard to keep them straight. I'm sorry if they look a mess. And the next thing that seems to be right on top is my Glossier makeup bag. There you go. Now size decided to settle down. I think the sounds are finally sufficiently soothing. So this is a Glossier, I think they call it the beauty bag. It. I have just always been kind of a Glossier sucker. Sucker for Glossier. So I definitely bought this back when it came out. And I use it for my makeup when I travel. I can show you a little bit of what's inside. But I don't want to get too much of what's in all of these different bags because I do have a lot of them. I do kind of chronically overpack and I travel with a lot of different things. But I love a good rummaging sound, so I usually pack some basic things like primer. I like I'm recently liking this one by Elf Power Grip Primer. And then I also pack my NYX Wonder Stick. I've been using this one for highlight and contour. It's really changed the game in that area for me. And I'm kind of having trouble finding my tinted moisturizer. I hope I didn't leave it behind. But if I did, it's okay. It was just a sample and it was almost empty anyway, so... Oh, here it is. Okay, I found it. Yeah. And some tinted moisturizer. Some other basic things like I always pack a couple of eyeshadow palettes. I can't help. I just love eyeshadow, especially when I'm traveling. And then I always pack a little fragrance kit. So I'm obsessed with fragrance, as anyone who knows me will tell you. And I have many different travel options. pack a little miniature wardrobe of mini fragrances. Oh, I should have worn this one a little more. This one has been a favorite of mine during the summer. It's a uh, Le Monde Gourmand. I think that's what it's called. The it's Le Soda Pop, and it's supposed to smell like cola or root beer, that sort of, that sort of reference, and I actually really like it. Wish I'd worn it more often. Um, so, the makeup kit is officially unpacked. I'll put, the, I'll put everything away later. It's 
thing is this organizing pouch that actually came with the bag. I got this bag on Amazon just before I left for this trip, and the reason being I really wanted a bag that would zip closed because I was using tote bags a lot to go through the airport and the tote bags were a very good size but I just didn't really feel comfortable with how open they were and I felt like everything was going to spill out all the time so I wanted a bag that would zip closed on the top and then I also wanted a bag that had the um, little sh like pocket on the back that would slide over the handle of my suitcase so that the bag would essentially attach to my suitcase and I could just roll it through the airport like that. Anyway, that's the thing in the story of why I got my new bag. But it's by this cute brand called Long Vacation. And it came with this little pouch that I found very, very handy. And in it, I packed just some random essential items like mostly hair things, like a headband, scrunchie, and I bought this headband on the trip, hair clips, um, and then I this one says pouch. It's another video that I should put. My hairbrush. And some q tips. So I'm just doing a little basic and stuff. Get all that away. And then the last big in here that needs to be unpacked is my skin, body, and hair care bag organizer. So this is pretty much always my skin, hair, and body care essentials bag when I travel. I got it at Walgreens years ago, right before we moved here, because we were obviously packing everything away and I needed something that was going to become like an on-the-go essential care case for me. And that's pretty much what this became. And it's very sturdy and it's just plain, clear, acrylic, vinyl, I guess you could call it with these black trims and a zipper right in the And what I do is I separate everything inside into their own pouches and that's what basically keeps everything organized when I travel. So and these pouches are also collected from various random things. Like I have this Glossier bubble wrap pouch. This is this was my skincare, so it has my face wash, lip balm and mask. I've been waiting to get this lip mask out, so that's going to be nice. Some cuticle oil. Then I got all of these cute little travel essentials for myself for my birthday this year. This is my favorite sunscreen, so I got a little travel version of that. And honestly, I didn't get a single sunburn when I was in Wyoming. And also I have my little little Halloween jars, which I show in my, in my other video. And then this milk makeup pouch was body care. So I have 
body lotion, after sun lotion, and deodorant. I had to buy some more deodorant when I was there because the travel version that I had already ran out. And then this one is hair care. As you can see, hair care is kind of an obsession and I have to bring like the full <laughs> medicine cabinet with me. But I have products that I honestly just like couldn't live without. So I bring them with me, like my Golden King tonic. So I have this Golden King product, which I've been excited to bring back in the rotation. And I had never tried this way shampoo before, but I really liked it. It was so nice and detoxifying. So my hair was getting a lot of wind and a lot of dust and a lot of sun. And so she was taking a lot of damage when she was in Wyoming. And that way, shampoo was just very cleansing and clarifying. It was really nice. So, I would recommend that for travel. The, the bag has these really big like, pockets that are on the side there. It's hard to see, but there are pockets all on the side. So that was really useful for me for organizing other random things, like, for example, my other number one travel essential whenever I go anywhere is this jewelry box. I did get this from Amazon. You can just Google Amazon travel jewelry box. You'll get so many different options just like this, but this was the one that I picked out. It's white and kind of glittery and it has this little snap clasp at the front and it's so useful for organizing all of your jewelry while you're traveling and most of this I did pack with me when I left but kind of a lot of it I also picked up while I was there. I'm really excited to unpack all this stuff and get it um, integrated with the rest of my jewelry and I can be able to start wearing these things as well. Like this, these earrings that I got at the spirit store. I'm really excited about these. Uh, I did bring a pair of dino earrings with me on the trip, dinosaur earrings. But I uh, gave those to my little sister because she really liked them and honestly I have, way, I have way too many dinosaur earrings as it is so I was happy to give them to her. But yeah, this is like a really nice earring organizer, jewelry organizer. I have all my rings here and then some earrings as well and then this top part folds down and you can store necklaces and then I also have another pair of earrings here so if you get really creative with it you can actually store quite a lot of different kinds of jewelry like I do have a couple of pins here and it is a very useful and practical jewelry organizer and actually quite compact as well it's right in the little pocket on the side of this bag and I have been really enjoying it and it's been a total necessity every time I travel. So I'm happy to unpack that. Some things I have also already unpacked, like basically what was in here was my microphone and um, the mount for my camera because I like I said, I recorded a video while I was in Wyoming, so I did bring some stuff for that, and that's what was in here. Awesome. There was one thing that I did pack that I meant to, I meant to get around to using, and I even mentioned to my sister that I had, but I never got to actually bust out while I was on my trip, and that's this, um, The Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. I 
haven't gotten to use this yet, but it is my most recent addition to my tarot card collection. I got it from the craft store that's just on the corner over here. And it's just so cute. I will just, I, I will definitely have to bust this out. I get to use it when I was in Wyoming, but anyway, it's out of the bag now. And it was on this side, we're getting close to the end here. Another thing that I never did get to use was my book that I have been reading. I have only recently picked this book back up, but I really like this one, so I'm trying to read more often before bed. So I'll be happy to put this back on my on my nightstand so I can get back into reading it. It's um, The Giver by Lois Lowry. This was totally a staple. If you're a millennial, you've definitely read this book. It was um, like a must read when we were in like elementary and middle school. Right around the age that the character of Jonas the main character in the book is supposed to be, but I've been really trying to get back into reading lately, so I did bring this book. It's very lightweight. I didn't get a chance to actually read any of it. I had a very full itinerary while I was in Wyoming. There was lots to do, and um, I actually didn't sleep all that well either. I suppose maybe I should have tried some reading. That might have helped. Um, Another very boring thing that's also basically already unpacked is this pink pouch which just contained my toothbrush and toothpaste and floss. And I've already taken the toothbrush out because the rest of what's in here is primarily travel toothpaste and floss, so we just keep it in here and I will put that back in the cabinet. But my toothpaste is already back in its toothpaste. My toothbrush is already back in its home in the cabinet in the bathroom. And the last thing that's kind of inside the big pocket of the bag is this pouch that was a new addition for me, but I was really happy with this. This was a recent purchase. And I was so pleased with it. So it's definitely going to be a travel staple. It is a pouch that contains all of my electronic chargers and um, connectors and those sorts of things. And I've been kind of living without these for the past few days. But, oh, whoops, that's okay because I don't necessarily need them. But in this side of the case, I have. I have um, a charging cable for my wireless earbuds and then the pad for my charging dock so that just tucks right in there and then on the other side I had um, my USB plug-in for my phone and this was the this is the what the cable that comes with the charging pad for my charging dock. And then on this side I also had the connector for my microphone. And then right in this pocket here I have another little pouch that contains some more headphones, some wired headphones for the backup. So I'll be happy to unpack that. So that's everything that was in the main pocket. 
And then in the front pocket here, this is another feature that I really liked about this bag. Is that it has this front pocket where I kept all of the things that I really needed to access quite quickly as I was moving through the airport or just in general, like things that I felt were like necessary essentials, primary um, category essentials. So things like my wallet, I would keep in this front pocket. And also my wireless earbuds. These were an absolute necessity. These are my favorite wireless earbuds. They are my Tozos, I think they're T12. Um, they are my Tozos. And they have this little stitch phone charm that I got from Disneyland years and years ago. And so I take those with me. Those usually live in my in my bag, on my on-the-go bag when I'm at home, my purse. So I'll put those in my pocket. And also in my pocket, I kept my prescription sunglasses. And this charging cable, it's kind of on the way out. It's kind of a garbage charging cable. So I just kept it in the front pocket just in case. It's like an immediate charging cable. There's a little pouch here where I keep my prescription glasses. And the very last thing that's in the front pocket is the essential lip balm. This is by EOS. It's the Hero Lip Treatment. I've been really liking this one. So I'm going to take that one back in. And the very last thing that is in this bag is at the very bottom. This pocket that opens up on the side. And it is a shoe pocket. So I have my Adidas in here. I've had these for a couple of years now. They're kind of dirty, so I don't want to show them off too much, but I really like them. They're, they were super comfortable. I wore them hiking. But that's everything that's in that bag. So I am now going to get to the task of putting all of this stuff away. Um, and I've also been sitting on my butt for a really long time and starting to get sore. And also I promised him that I would ice my ankle tonight because I fell and twisted my ankle on the last day of my trip and uh, I've had to take the week off of work and Tim's been yelling at me for not icing my ankle so I promised him I would so I need to go do that. Well, anyway, I just wanted to film this video just to really quickly shoot something, edit it, throw it up. And then um, I want to work on the video that I shot while I was in Wyoming, and I can put that up for you guys as well. So we should uh, hopefully see some more content soon. Well, anyway, I hope to see you back on this channel again very, very soon. And like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you would like to see more. And uh, we... We will see you in the next one. Say goodbye, Sai. Say bye. Bye.